It's another episode of Dear Comic. My name is Chime Francis, and um, today we are going straight into the points of the day. Um, today we are going to be talking about reading the room. Yes, this is a very important technique and skill that every performer should have in at their disposal. Reading the room, having it at the back of your mind to always read the room. So what do I mean by reading the room? I mean when you come to an event, when you are called to stage, when you start performing, at these different levels, make sure you read the room. Some persons just come into an event, sit down, they get called, they climb the stage and they start doing their thing, start talking, start cracking jokes, which is fine, which is not a bad thing, but Reading the room at times will save you a lot of shenanigans. Ah, I just had to chip in that word to sound bright. <laughs> Reading the room. So, firstly, what are the what is the type of the audience? You know, what is what type of audience is in the house? The very key factor to know the type of audience. Like if it's abroad now, is it the white community audience? Is it a black community audience? Is it an Asian audience? A Mexican audience? Is it a mixed audience? If you're in Nigeria, is it a Yoruba audience? Is it Ibu? Are they more of Aosas? Are they more Fulanese? Is it a mix? You know, what type of audience? You can classify them with tribe, you can classify them with religion. Are they Muslims here? Are they more of Christians here? Are they more of you know? You could also classify them with um a lot of a lot of other things, you know. So you need to know the type of audience you are going to meet. So when you go into a venue, you know, just by the address code and you know the people conversing and people talking you can actually read knowing this can help you make some on the spot decisions probably how to start the event or how to go about telling your jokes so always know the type of audience when you get to the venue another thing that is very very important when you go to an event that you have been called to perform is knowing the tone of the event before you came if you if you came late most times but if you came on time you can actually know the tone of the event sometimes there are some comment club about the comment club recently and when i got there i noticed that the people who were telling jokes were not really getting the attention of the audience but those who were just throwing tantrums those who were just freestyling you know throwing jabs at the audience they were resonating with the comics that were doing that so what i had to do is i had to pipe low with my materials i've already prepared to do and when i got in there i calmed the place down and i started throwing jabs so now when i started throwing jabs they started listening and while i trained the jabs I started doing my jokes in between them so what means i've seen the tone that other comics that have come before me have the those who were struggling those who did not read the room were struggling because they just came in and started throwing their jokes out there but those who were freestyling were being endearing to the audience and they were cracking jokes and the audience were following up so i saved myself some stress came in freestyled, put the jokes in there, put some, tested some new materials and mixed it up. So know the tone of the event that is you know, already going. Now, picks from the audience. Now, this one is um sometimes why you need to read the room is you can actually get two or three materials to start up your performance by just watching people in the room a lot of comics do that they're very good at it all they need to do they don't even go with jokes to the venue they just go sit down quietly at the back or in front and they keep watching everybody in the hall those with their partners those really dressed you know they watch all those things they pick them in fact they pick topics from what other comics have said they pick all these things in that spot they create materials they arrange it align it and when they come on stage boom 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 it's a hit 
They'll be like, ah, guys, this why are you entering? Why are you talking? Why are you? But he has already sat down to read the room and pick, take pics from his audience. If you have watched to this point, which it means you are gaining value from this video, or you have always watched our Dare Comic episode. Notwithstanding, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do so now and also tell me in the comment section by saying, I just subscribed and we can talk and I reach out to each other. Thanks to everybody who has been following their comic. We see your comments, we see your shares. Thank you very much. We hope to continue. And that is one of the things your subscription does. It motivates me and inspires me to continue to push. So I've talked about the type of audience. I've talked about the tone of the event. I've talked about peaks from the audience. Now, another thing I want to talk about is I will use the word local and urban. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use to paraphrase what I want to say. There are local audiences. Like when I see local audiences, like um, I don't want to be classist, you know, but when I see, local, like, let's use Lagos for an example. Those of us that stay in Lagos, Nigeria, we have the mainland audience and the island audience that would be a very good place you know so there, 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 there is this characteristics that come with people on the mainland a lot of people most people you know they have they have this local vibe this this down to earth vibe you know this raw fraggedy and we can see there they can allow you to you know bring in all your craziness your sexual jokes you understand those kind of thing now we can talk about body parts, you can mention it, you can talk about sex, you can mention it. You know, they even they are endearing to people who use pigeon when telling jokes, you know. But there's this urban audience where they like it to be clean, you know. It's just like your African magic epic and your African magic urban. In epic they give you those village local movies, king, you know. But in the urban they make it trush and all. So when you go into when you first of all from the venue when they are you ask where is this audience somebody tells you is in the korodu is somewhere in lokoko is you know those kind of areas there you can come and you know do your thing you know? so they are very dicey very hard to work out anyway those kind of audience you know but in the urban you know, they tell you okay where is or bogobiri live lounge you know you know that when you come there the kind of persons you're going to meet are very different it's just the geographical setting, you know. So you must know this. You must know this, and um, when you come, you know the kind of jokes you are going to tell in this kind of places, you know. If you are good with English and pidgin, you know that here you, they will be listening more if you use English. You know, so all these things they matter. No matter how small you may think it is, but they matter. I know some people that they, anyway they could they do pidgin, which is fine. Um, anyway, they go, they use English, which is fine, but, you know, I'm just here to make things easy for you. Sometimes, these little things are the things that make your performance different. Religious gatherings and club gatherings. So, this is more like what I just said. You know, when you go to a venue that is religious gathering, I don't expect you to be doing some kind of jokes, you know. There's some kind of materials you should not even think about in a church gathering, you know. But in a club garden, you have the license to just bra bra pour your talk rubbish and all that if you are that kind of comedian. And um, and this kind, of, I think, just like the local and urban, in a religious garden, you more you be enjoying more if you use English than pigeon. So, it's, but if you go to the club, ah, where they speak English, you will struggle a bit, you know. But you can fly, but you go struggle. You say you know, say struggle because for club, they want to hear. Oh, they want to be hearing me. God have mercy. So that's it. It's almost similar. So now another um thing, your your own special. So I used to say people that the best audience for any comic is the audience that comes to their own special. That is one of the lovable audience you can ever face. You know, your own special, your audience are endearing. That's a different type of audience. They are coming to watch you, and that's like the best place, the safe space. So they know you, they love you, and that's why they gather to want to watch you for one hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you know. So I hope, you know. 
always read the room make sure you read the room in your next performance thank you for watching this episode do it to subscribe see you in my next video